Hi everyone! Welcome to today's wellness session. Today I'm going to be talking about kindness and how it affects your health. So what does it mean to be kind? According to Psychology Today, kindness means a behavioral response of compassion and actions that are selfless, or a mindset that places compassion of others before one's own interest. In performing the selfless act, a person may undercut their own selfish interest. So in other words, it means helping others or yourself motivated by genuine warm feelings. Research suggests that no matter if you're the one performing the act of kindness or if you're the recipient of the act of kindness, the kindness produces positive changes or activities within your brain that trigger the release of dopamine and serotonin. You may remember from previous wellness sessions that the release of these chemicals make us feel good. So how awesome is that? Just by performing an act of kindness, you can make yourself feel better and someone else. But that's not all. Research shows that an individual who witnesses an act of kindness also experiences positive feelings as a result. Also, individuals who experience an act of kindness are more likely to pay it forward and spread kindness to others. Some additional benefits of experiencing kindness are strengthened connections with those around you, improved self-esteem, increased chances of living longer, and overall life satisfaction. Acts of kindness can also trigger the release of happy chemicals in your brain such as dopamine, serotonin, and endorphins. It is also important to note that children and youth who experience kindness, whether they're performing an act, the recipient of an act, or witnessing an act of kindness, are more likely to be accepted by others, um, they're more connected with others, less likely to engage in or to give in to peer pressure, they're accepted by their peers, and they're less likely to engage in bullying behaviors. Adults can promote and encourage kindness by being a model and showing kindness to others and receiving kindness from others. Kindness doesn't ha an act of kindness doesn't have to be a big production or anything that um, is expensive or something that requires a lot of planning. It can be as simple as a hug, a smile, a card, letting somebody know that you're thinking of them, holding a door open for somebody, or um, accepting an offer um, and accepting an offer for help. Uh, it could also be um, doing something for a good cause, like volunteering for a nonprofit organization or charity event or um, donating something to like a, a food bank or some kind of local clothes drive or something like that. Typically, kindness involves considering others' feelings and is usually beneficial to both parties. I hope you will choose to intentionally incorporate kindness into your day. Thank you for joining today's session. And I hope you'll stay tuned for our upcoming sessions.